we explain why the inclusion of people with disabilities is good for everyone. Meet Sara. She's a smart girl who loves to sing and help her mother to cook. When she grows up, she wants to be a teacher and get married. Sara has cerebral palsy caused by partial damage to the brain and therefore uses a wheelchair to move around. She's an outgoing person and whenever she needs help, she asks for it. But while Sara can do most things herself, she faces many barriers. Some people's attitudes as well as physical and economic barriers make life difficult for Sara. They say she can't be in a choir and so far no school has accepted her. If Sara can't go to school, she won't find a job and without a job she will always be dependent on others. This is not only a waste of her skills, it's a violation of her right to proper education. But what can be done? It's not that hard. Everybody around Sara can help her to live her life to the fullest and gain back her rights. We need to raise awareness, for example, in education programs. That way, Sara's community understands the nature of her disability. After setting up a local support group for parents of children with disabilities, Sara's mother can share her experiences with others. Now, the head teacher of the closest school knows that it's Sara's right, like any other child, to be educated well. Teachers can get disability-specific training and support from a resource center when needed. And we need to reduce physical barriers. Building wider doorways and wheelchair ramps benefits the elderly too. When given appropriate materials, people with visual impairments can study anything. With fewer barriers, a proper education and awareness in the community, Sara has the same chance as others of getting the job she wants. Instead of depending on others, she is appreciated for who she really is, a person of many abilities. Whether someone uses a wheelchair, lives with vision or hearing problems, or has an intellectual or other disability, let's make sure our society includes them.